personally like my ball like Caillou. Okay. Her ball like Caillou. So it's come to my attention that a lot of you are some dirty. Okay. Not all of you, but some of you. Why was I on TikTok and I'm scrolling or whatever, and there's a video, and it's a girl doing a tutorial on like how to wipe your vajayjay. And she was doing it wrong. She was doing it wrong. It was not the way you're supposed to do it. It was all my. I screamed. Okay, what? I was screaming. As your internet mother, and just a mom in general, it is my duty, okay? It's my duty to show you guys, like, some good hygiene tips. Some good hygiene... What? <gasps> I don't even know the word I'm looking for right now. I'm gonna give you guys my favorite hygiene tips. A lot of this stuff, as an almost 30-year-old woman, I feel like is very obvious to me, but, like, I'm sure there's some teenage girls out there who just don't know. Like, maybe you don't have a motherly figure to show you this stuff. So, I'm gonna give you guys my most amazing my favorite the best the jj hygiene tips okay wiping let's talk about it apparently this isn't common sense apparently people need to be told this and i'm not trying to embarrass anyone i'm not trying to like call out anyone you are supposed to be wiping from the front to the back never back to the front if any part of that tissue touches anything other than your vajayjay throw it away way when you wipe back to front you're basically like smushing fecal matter into your vagina like it's not a good thing that's how you get bv that's how you get yeast infections and you don't want e coli in your vagina and that can cause like a kidney infection because it's all connected like everything in your body is connected if you're someone who likes to use wet wipes when you use the bathroom same concept front to back but also the vagina is very sensitive okay so make sure that when you're choosing a wet wipe or like some kind of baby wipe that you want to use when you use the bathroom something that has good ingredients it's not too chemically because the vagina is very sensitive there are a lot of feminine care products out on the market and i do not recommend a single one of them <laughs> they say they're for your vagina but your vagina is like its own little ecosystem so like you don't really need that stuff i mean obviously it's different if you have like a yeast infection and you want to use one of those like numb wipes because your vagina is just like on fire that's a whole different story but to be using these like vagina wipes that are specifically meant for the vagina constantly no how are you washing your coochie i'm someone who loves my loofahs 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 loofah my scrubby. Okay, I call it a scrubby, but it's definitely like a loofah loofah thingy. Do not take that loofah and mash it into your coochie. Zal zoo it. Zal zoo it. Okay? <laughs> because one, it's not controlled enough, okay? If you take your loofah thingy and you try to scrub your cooch, like, you're just gonna get the soap everywhere. The soap is probably going to go into your vagina hole where you do not want soap. You're gonna want to take your hands, your two fingers specifically is what I like to do because it's calm and controlled, and you put the sudsy soap on the fingers and then you you get into all the cracks and crevices that are not the vagina hole do not put soap in that vagina hole you put soap on the areas that sweat so anywhere that has a sweat gland if you don't know what areas of your vajayjay have sweat glands a good rule of thumb is like anywhere that grows the hair that's anywhere that you should be washing soaps that i love i love dove and i love native these are very gentle on the vagine so that's why i like them your vagina is its own little ecosystem so don't feel like you need to put a bunch of soap down there wash the areas that sweat the areas that will get dirty naturally and that cannot clean themselves and be so careful do not put soap in there do not put soap in your vagina hole it seems counterintuitive because you would think like oh you need to wash your vagina so if you put soap in there it's going to make it more clean it literally is self-cleaning so you really only need to wash the areas that produce sweat when you put soap in your vagina and it might be mind-blowing if you don't know this but putting soap in your vagina is what causes bv and yeast infections it throws off your ph it throws off the ecosystem so don't do it don't do it don't do it so now let's talk about grooming okay and this is all definitely a personal preference so like take this maybe with a grain of salt i personally like my ball like how you okay i personally feel more clean when i don't have a giant bush okay that's not to say that i haven't had a giant bush i mean i have a child so like i cannot regularly keep up with my waxes but i prefer that brazilian i really do i personally do sugar waxing that's the only kind of waxing i do i don't trust real waxing i tried to do real waxing one time and bruised myself you honestly can do sugar waxing right at home. I do it at home. It costs like $5 to make. You see this right here? You see this? See this magic little
little gem, this, this magic jar. This is my sugar wax, okay? This is my pride and joy. Sugar waxing helps with ingrowns. It helps with the darkness. If you are a person of color like myself and you get, you know, those dark patches from shaving. I honestly can't remember the last time I shaved my coochie. I only do waxing now. It's so simple, so easy. I actually found these really good wax strips on Timu. Sounds so crazy. They are the best wax strips I have ever tried. They come in a pack of a hundred for like a dollar. Sugar waxing also lasts like four weeks. I only ever have to do it like once a month. So I typically do it after I get my period. And the more that you wax, the less hair will grow. And over time it leads to like permanent hair loss. Another thing you should be considering, what underwear are you wearing? Inevitably, if you sit here and wear these hoochie lacy underwear that are hella cute, okay? Hella, hella cute. But if you wear these super cute underwear that are so far up your ass, like what How, What do you expect? Like, of course your vagina juices are gonna be sloshing around up there. You gotta let girlfriend breathe, okay? You gotta give her a break sometimes. The cute underwear is all fun. It's all fun. And I, I love cute underwear. But every day is not the vibe. It's not the move, okay? Sometimes you gotta go commando. You gotta let her breathe. Because what do you expect? when you're wearing these tight little panties like what do you expect get a few pair of cotton underwear wear those around the house wear them when you're not doing anything so now we're just gonna get into some general tips if you work out you should not be sitting in your workout clothes after your workout this is how you get bv this is how you get a yeast infection change as soon as possible even if you don't have time to take a shower right away at least change like get out of those tight ass workout clothes another thing you gotta do real tmi but after you have sex you gotta go pee okay go pee if you're keeping her moist after you do the do that's not good that's harboring bacteria that's harboring yeast that's how you get yeast infections that's how you get bv yeast love dark moist places and what is dark and moist your vagina <laughs> as far as diet goes i i don't really know how true this is because i drink like 87 gallons of coffee a day but for some women your diet really does affect your vagina so make sure you're drinking water make sure that you're staying hydrated and you're eating balanced and i'm sure that'll probably have an effect on your cooch okay so that's all i got for you okay that's all i got these are my tips and i hope these tips helped you i hope you take these tips i hope you run with them if you guys have more tips that i didn't mention then put them down in the comments below also feel free to go and follow all my social media i'm gonna have that linked in the description subscribe if you're not subscribed and that's it so i hope you enjoyed the video till next time see you all later <laughs>